Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dustmos, and today I'm very pumped to be bringing you the Replicator Deluxe from T-Rex FX. <laughs> I'm super pumped to have this in the studio today because I have been interested in this thing for quite a while. There's been a few variations. Um, there was like a Eurorack version, a little mini junior version, and a big full-fledged one. This one's kind of like a hybrid between the mini version and the big um, original version, which gives it a more compact form factor, um, but has both a short and a long delay. The Replicator Deluxe is a tape delay that uses actual tape and it's kind of amazing. And most modern day digital emulations, you know, get a lot right, but um, also there's just nothing that beats the old school character of an actual physical cassette tape. I've been extremely fortunate being sent this for a demo on the channel and I'm super pumped to now share it with you. As I'm sure you're aware, this is a Signal Colors primer video, which means it's just a first look. Um, so if you're interested in the nitty gritty and all the things that this can do, um, definitely come back. I'll give my full in-depth demo review um, and yeah, my opinions and everything on it later um, in that full episode. But um, until then, let's check it out. So to start off, I'm gonna play my clean pattern, which sounds like this. with we'll go ahead and start with just this sound and we'll activate the replicator let's get a level control feedback control time and whether or not you have the short playback head turned on or the long playback head turned on So it's crazy at the time, because it's controlling physical tape, we'll actually slow down the reels. That's so cool. That's what it sounds like clean. I'll turn on the short head. extend the delays out. Turn on this other part. Speed up the time. It's almost kind of like a reverb almost. Those tight repeats. Let's bypass it.
It's interesting because the feedback is short, or the delay time is short, it'll erase before it has a chance to keep adding a lot of feedback in, so it stays a little bit more manageable. Still pretty cool effect though. Slow up the time. Feedback has more time to actually feed back. And that's such a cool sound. Let's turn off the long. So you can play with this on the fly, which is pretty cool. And really get those weird pitch bent artifacts. Super cool. bypass because neither is on. So you can hear the long head really maxed out. It's full of all that warbly character. Change the filter up on that sound. You can hear clearly there is some tape noise, but that adds to the charm and the character. You can defeat some of that by mixing out the delay level a bit. A little more subtle. But I like it. Give everybody a break from those <laughs> or pitch notes. There's a tap tempo, um, and you can hear the speed. Well, the pitch will adjust as the playback speed gets higher, which means the delay time is decreased. Um, but it's cool to kind of hear what happens when you adjust the tap tempo. So let's try it out. It does like a, a fast adjustment that actually gets caught in the, the loop, which is really cool. Let's try it again. Yeah, pretty cool. I'm going to up the feedback and give it more of a full sound to work with. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah, you 
can have some fun with that for sure. saturation control that allows you to dial in uh, how much gain the input gets which can boost a weaker signal or could um, drive the input a little bit more which is pretty cool let's try it out Saturate that input, it's definitely a lot hotter. Turn it off the other sounds. Stop there. Well, there we go. That is the Replicator Deluxe from T Rex FX. Um, crazy cool device. Um, I have a lot more to say about it that I will be saying in my full length demo and review. So definitely come back for that um, if you're interested. Till then, thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.